All right, so this is the side-by-side, -side, the quickest side-by-side -side I've ever seen in my life. But I have to say, Final Fantasy players are quite protective of their stories being used, specifically when it is very important stories being used and ripped off. So let's see what exactly have been ripped off here. Do you not understand? This one is bound to me. Yeah, there is Heaven's World spoilers here. If you're not at Heaven's World, close your eyes and close your ears quickly. Annihilation. The fate of all who carry my blade. Is this to be mine end? Me. I will not allow it. I am of the first brood. I am vengeance incarnate. Still remember this fucking cinematic. This is not your hand, worm. Oh my god, Estinian, you bitch. I would ask one last favor of you, Warrior of Light. Finish me, now, while I have the beast subdued! We couldn't finish him. We couldn't do it. We had to save him. You waste your time! Kill me! It is the only way! Ending Nidhogg will be my final duty! No! You can't die like this! I won't let you! I'll talk about it now because I think what people are referring to is maybe wrong. My son. This blade does not belong to darkness. It was forged by valor. And also by honor. Its legacy That's and cringe as fuck. are with you, even here. Sail. Oh, fuck a sail, bro. Here we go. It's our boy. It's Horshavon. Oh, yeah. The motherfucker that should never have died. Alright, we're still watching. I'll I'll explain it in a minute. Arthas. Is this all that remains of him? The last flicker of his scarred spirit. Consumed in the forges of the jailer. No crown. No throne. Not even a soul left. For judgment. I hated you. Hunted. The music is good here. 
That is true. But the music has always been spectacular and wow. Became you. That is music, voice acting, art best. style, art direction, brilliant. All of it fucking legacy. brilliant. Is at an end. Be gone then, Arthas Menethil. Can the player at least gate this 35 anima? And be forgotten. Or is that also gone? Like you don't even gate the 35 anima from uh, from Arthas. Oh shit. I still feel sorry for Ned Hawk, by the way. Greg, thanks for the follow, dude. Really appreciate that. Well, Joe, thanks for the follow. Really appreciate that. Welcome to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. song as well fucking kills me all right so let me oh they're just showing all the things that's been ripped off <laughs> that's it baby thanks for the 200 bits and i absolutely agree with you so first and foremost <clears throat> i don't necessarily think that it is wholly fair to say that this is completely ripped off and this goes back to a conversation we've had a couple of times, uh, tropes. So tropes in video games is, or tropes in story, really, is, is something that you can't get away from. Uh, we once spent some time on Discord talking to uh, one of the developers that work for Blizzard Entertainment, um, Taron Gregory. He's actually the man responsible for this cinematic. He, he made this cinematic. That, that's his job is making cinematics like this one and Terran basically explained to us that there are I, I can't remember if it's six or nine but let's go with nine there are nine different story tropes in fantasy that works anything that isn't one of those nine simply doesn't work it just for some reason it does not connect with the audience if you try to write anything that isn't in the nine, uh, it, it just doesn't work. This is why most stories and movies and things like that follow basically, you know, a very similar sort of foundation and architecture. They, they, they do the same thing because it works. If you try to do something different, the audience for some reason just does not resonate. It, it does not click with the audience. I'll say everything was fine with this cinematic right up until the moment where Sao Fang and Varian touches Arthur, uh, Anduin's shoulders. Because at that point, it is effectively just a ripoff of what happened in Final Fantasy XIV. But I'm actually not going to say that it is a ripoff of Final Fantasy XIV. I don't think I even have to say that. I will just point out the difference. Yasail and Horshavant was very well established throughout the entirety of Heavensward. Their journey really was your journey throughout the entirety of Heavensward. Their lives were intertwined with the story as it was coming to an end. Them being there made sense. You seeing them there made sense. It could have been no, no other way, but that it, it, it had to be there. And considering that your character was part of that. It was your character seeing Horshavan and Yasail showing up. Of course, your character would have seen them. They're with you in spirit. It's it's what it's supposed to be. Like I said, when I watched the cinematic the first time, Saurfang and Varian being there felt out of place. It felt like fan service. It felt like they were simply putting them there because, well, players would like to see them there. And that will give the cinematic a boost. You know, people will see it and think, oh my god, oh my god, we saw Varian and Saurfang. Such a good cinematic. It didn't feel like they were there because it was meant to be there. Like, it was it fit and it should have been there and there was no other way to do it but for them to be there and i feel like that is the major difference here i can't say whether or not this was a ripoff because by the way final fantasy isn't the first story that have done something like this nor is it going to be the last and world of warcraft isn't going to be the last one but apocalypse i never said that the cinematic was bad i appreciate the the bits but i never said that the cinematic was bad i said the cinematic was good i said what was bad was was what was isn't what isn't in the cinematic i, ne I never said the cinematic is bad in fact i said exactly the opposite i said the cinematic is good it's, it's, it, it, everything that is in there is great it's fine it doesn't make it doesn't make it hard 
to follow. It's a pretty good end to the story. Uh, well, at least the end to Anduin's control in the story. It's what's not there. It's what should have been there. That's the issue. Th that's the that's the issue that I have. Um, but with that said, uh, the the idea behind it being stolen, I'm not entirely sure if I can get behind that because, like I said, it's it's Final Fantasy wasn't the first to have spirits sort of show up and help you overcome something great. World of Warcraft is not going to be the last to do it. It is a trope. It works. It connects to people. Um, if done right, I, I think the difference is that. In Final Fantasy, it was done right. In World of Warcraft, it felt a little bit forced. Um, they, as I said earlier, why is Saofang and Varian there? Well, both of them use Chalamet. So, sure, they were both the previous, quote-unquote, owners of Chalamet. So it kind of makes sense that they would be there. But how they were put there and the explanations that led to them being put there, that's where it just sort of feels like it's a bit of fan service. Not the worst. Not not the worst. It, it's not like it's egregious and it's the worst thing that's ever been put in a cinematic. Not by a mile. It's just slightly peeving that, that it's... It, feels as if it's shoehorned in there to to be there rather than being organically in there because why wouldn't it be in there um i hope that makes some sense uh harry potter did it first greg that's true thanks for the first time chat really appreciate that uh welcome to the channel thank you thank you thank you